gentlemen, hey, congratulations on low tide. Hey, so uh, so tell me uh, why why you guys wanted to be in a project like this. I mean, this is this is a l little indie gem. It is, yeah. We I first got the script with Kevin's short film um, that was also attached to it. He made like a little short of like a proof of concept, and it was amazing. And that, along with how good the script was, I was like immediately drawn to Kevin and, and this project and the characters are all so incredible and, and unique in their own way so I think that's what stood out for me. Yeah, I like the script and um, the character and, and I also saw like uh, Kevin's um, short sort of teaser version of the m movie and um, it was, yeah, it was appealing. Oh, that's interesting. What 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 was the teaser version of the movie? Just just out of curiosity. I don't know. I think he just used it to like, uh, like get attention for it. But but uh, it was like this, uh, like atmospheric sort of look at the Jersey Shore and, and the characters. And yeah, I don't think there was any dialogue in it. Yeah, it was just like music. And yeah, it was just very cinematic and kind of a proof of concept, like this the look that he was going for. What about your characters that you guys particularly like? I mean, both of your characters are kind of, I want to say, despicable in their own ways. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we both got along really well um, because our characters have similar kind of characteristics. And we were just talking about this earlier. Like, when we met, we, like, had a f very few conversations with ourselves, like, as you know, Alex and Daniel, we like very much took into improving between our characters and that was really helpful for us and super fun. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I've, I'm, I was younger than you and my character's younger than you and I feel like you're kind of inferior, or, or no, 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 I'm, I'm inferior to you and so I just sort of followed your lead, I guess. It sounds like you guys kind of develop uh, your your own bond and friendship on, on the set. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Stuff that's not in the movie, for sure. A lot sure. of stuff that's not in the movie. <laughs> but, I don't know, it helped, like, uh, create, like, a history or something. In a short amount of time. We didn't really have time. Yeah. Also, like, in between shooting the days that we had off together, we would, we didn't have cars or really transportation. We were in a hotel. So, we would, like, walk all the way to the nearest mall and like hang around and you know just yeah. talk shit the whole time <laughs> so so nothing of uh, like going out to the carnival or hanging out at the beach or anything like that with you guys we didn't go to the beach i wish we'd gone to the beach yeah no. we didn't really go to the beach no 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 none of that stuff we only went to the carnival once for the uh, scene just we for the went, scene we went bowling yeah, we did go forward. Yeah. Wow. Now, the, uh, the, the most interesting part of, um, not only it's about uh, you know, a gr group of friends that break into homes, is, is the bag of gold coins. Um, did you guys uh, try to develop a, an idea in your head on where, where those coins actually came from? I know Kevin kind of probably explained a little bit, right? Yeah, I don't, my character doesn't know anything about them until like the end so I didn't I never came up with something in my own head but I'm sure Kevin I'm sure Kevin has something I didn't no I don't know no that's a good question <laughs> no, no. couldn't have a feeling that um, you, were, you were in the cast uh, for uh, for I want to say most of the film right how, how was acting in, in that scenario oh yeah that was like frustrating because at first it was like <clears throat> It was too small, and then they had to like, uh, like, like reconstruct it last minute. But um, no, that's not why I was. It was just like really sweaty, and uh, no, it was I, I tried to like uh, walk around in like crutches before we filmed as as much as time as I had. But uh, yeah, it's like it's it's just sort of. Uh, frustrating <laughs> now you guys mentioned that there was a lot of improv um, going on it doesn't seem like a movie that would improv when when do you guys have a chance to improv 
just, just conversations? Like off, off camera. Yeah, just before. Yeah, like before, like to get into scenes, um, to get like sometimes just tonally with like the mood of a scene. It was also like kept us entertained, you know, mm -hmm. something fun for us to just keep doing when we were bored. And and how was Kevin's direction? Did he did he encourage him um, improv much during the production itself? I think I think I think he is. I think he was, but I don't think it was something that he was necessarily like. He's a very freeing director. Like with me, he would we would just do a bunch of different takes and have a lot of variance with all of them. And if I was feeling a certain way on a take and one of the do something differently. He was very open to that. Yeah, he's like pretty fluid with everyone's um, <clears throat> uh, process and whatever. <laughs> and and for yourself, because uh, you probably p play the um, the the essentially the villain. But where did your your head? Where where's your head when you actually get into that role? Because it's it's not a. It's, it, your character seems very angry and upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's my head? Um, I don't know. I'm still trying to find it. It's uh, I I think I was it was a lot of my childhood frustrations came out <laughs> in that film. I, there was a lot of pent up, shelved energy that was that needed to come out during that film. And thankfully, I had a character that could um, you know use some of that energy. Well, thankfully, uh, you don't have a knife, so <laughs> um, let me start wrapping things up. Uh, do you guys have future projects for yourself after Low Tide? Yeah, I have um, <clears throat> a couple of films in a, in a series. Okay. I have a movie called uh, Things Heard and Seen. Um, I haven't shot it yet, but yeah, that'll be on Netflix. Excellent. And... Um, one last question, hopefully it's a fun question. If you did find a bag of gold coins, what would you done, you have done? Would, would you spend it yeah. to tell your friends? I'd spend it. Yeah, I'd probably spend it too. I, wouldn't, I mean, unless, it, unless I like, it was stolen, but if I just found it randomly, isn't that, you can, you can just coin that. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Finders keepers, right? Yeah, exactly. Excellent, gentlemen. Hey, thank you very much. I thank really you. appreciate appreciate this thank interview. You. Thank you.